Hello and welcome to Ian's Bricks. I'm Ian and as you can see from the bags behind me I've been shopping today. Uh, so I've actually been to my local Lego store which is in Southampton in the UK uh, in Hampshire um, and um, today is the 1st of August 2020 so there are actually loads of brand new Lego sets available to buy today uh, such as the fantastic uh, Lego Ideas um, Grand Piano, the fantastic Nintendo uh, Entertainment System, there's all new Mario stuff, there's some new Star Wars stuff. Um, however, what I was uh, looking for is maybe getting some items that uh, are going to be discontinued soon. Um, and obviously, being at the Lego store, as always, uh, there were plenty of free gifts being given out today, which is always fantastic news. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a short video of, uh, of me inside the Lego store. I just sort of took my phone and, and scan the uh, camera around a few of the new items so I'll do a little voiceover with that first and then we'll uh, have a look and see what's inside all these fantastic Lego bags. So this is the Lego store in Southampton in the uh, in the shopping centre there. Uh, I had to wait in line so uh, I just took some video of some of the uh, Mario sets that were uh, showing and they had the Nintendo Entertainment System on display as well. Um, which looks fantastic and I probably will get one of those. Just above that was one of the uh, Iron Man Lego art um, sets which are out today as well and another shot of the Nintendo in the shop window. Looking fantastic. And then this is in the store so this is just one of the shelves that was just fully stocked with loads of Mario stuff including the Nintendo system. I apologies for flashing around a little bit too quick here. Um, but just to sort of give you an idea of what they actually had in some of the display units. Uh, and this is another one of the uh, units here. They had a couple of them actually dedicated to all the Mario stuff. There's obviously a lot of sets. So they need quite a lot of space to display all of these. There's some of the starter sets there. Um, this was one of the Lego Arts. They had one of the Marilyn uh, Monroe ones on display, which looks fantastic. And again, they had a whole uh, display. Um, quite a few. Obviously, it's quite early in the morning. It's ten o'clock in the morning, so a few of them had gone already. But as you can see, all the Star Wars ones seem to be there. Uh, looks like someone's been in and got probably three of the Iron Man ones. I reckon three of them are missing. And then I've just done a close-up here on the back of the uh, the Marilyn one to show how it's put together. Uh, there seem to be uh, nine 16 by 16 uh, sort of plates. Uh, and that's how they kind of uh, fit that together. See my reflection in the camera there, in the glass. And there's also the grand piano set, uh, which was come out today. That was there, was there, and just above that is the uh, the locomotive. And here's a close up. They had another display unit of the Nintendo system uh, on display, actually in the store as well. Two hundred nine ninety nine in the UK. Uh, fairly expensive, but I think for what you get, it's pretty fantastic. I'll be getting one of those at a later date, probably. And uh, I just went for a little wander. Uh, not too far from the, the uh, shopping centre is, is the docks. And there was a huge uh, cruise liner uh, just sort of sat there in the docks. So I went down and took a bit of video. They're all kind of just sat there doing nothing at the moment in Southampton. There's a few of them sat in Bournemouth Bay as well. And just some pictures of the uh, some of the old city walls in Southampton, which date from about... 1350, 1360, so they're pretty old. Okay, so here we have the first bag that I got from the Lego store today. Uh, so I actually spent a bit of time having a quick look around, seeing what, what items they had, what items they didn't have. Um, I One of the items I was looking for today was the uh, Lego um, Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willy set, which is the idea set. Uh, that's gone out of stock, sold out on lego.com. Um, I couldn't see it see it anywhere else unfortunately and they didn't have that unfortunately today uh, but they did have one big set that I sort of wanted to get uh, but if I just go through the, some of the free gifts first of all so the first free gift I got was uh, this not particularly my cup of tea it's a pencil case uh, I mean it's all right there's a there's a, a, a notebook a, a, an eraser the eraser is quite nice a little little green um, green square eraser like a lego piece um so so yeah i mean there's a pencil and a ruler and and a couple of stickers in there as well i mean it's okay 
Um, they value this at £7.60, which uh, maybe not. Um, I think this is probably worth about three quid, but <laughs> there you go. So anyway, I got that. It's free. I shouldn't complain really because it is free. So I got that. Um, the next thing I got was this Lego City set here, 30369. This is sort of a beach buggy. Uh, they've been giving these away for a while now at the Lego store. Um, you get a choice of two, a friend set or a city set. I went for the city set on this particular occasion. Comes with one minifigure. Um, and also, they're still giving away these in our local Lego store, which is the 12-in-1 uh, Rebuild Into set, uh, 40411. So I've got a couple of these already. Uh, again, they're okay. I mean, it's slightly annoying that you have to take the pieces apart to rebuild into other things, but it's, it's quite a fun little set. Um, and uh, so free one of those and the best one of all which I'm amazed they've still got these they must have ordered so many of these back in March and not been able to give any away and it's the fantastic uh, 40370 which is the uh, train set the 40 years train uh, set I've got a few of these already I've sort of lost count how many I've got now but um, yeah these are fantastic i really do like these these are a great free gift to have they value these at i think 17 18 pounds something like that so they're a, a decent uh, a decent value to have let's just pop that there pop this at the front so let's going to move those a little bit um the two two sets here which are the same two brick head sets um this is uh, 75232 which is the Kylo Ren and Sith Trooper brick heads not not really normally into brick heads but I had noticed that these had gone out of stock on lego.com um, oh, a while ago now and uh, and I know that last time I was in the lego store that they did have some and they still had about six on the shelf I actually had to sort through them because a couple of the boxes were slightly damaged uh, so I sort of got the best ones <laughs> that were there um, these were £17.99, so I paid full price for them, but uh, you know, I know already on Amazon and eBay these are sort of going for quite decent prices, so maybe we'll hang on to these for a while and, uh, and possibly sell them, sell them off at a later date. So I'm pleased I got two of those. Let's put those there. And the big one, the big set that I bought, was this. Uh, let's just move this a little bit closer. This is the Creator Expert set. It's the Diner, which is set 10260. I do like these modular buildings. This is for what first what got me back into modular buildings. Back in about 2008, I bought the um, uh, the Greengrocer set, and then luckily I was managed to get the uh, the Cafe Corner set and the uh, the Market Street sets. Um, so I've pretty much got all of these sets now. I think the only ones I haven't got are the two newest ones. I haven't got the garage yet. I don't particularly like the garage, but the diner set I really like. And again, this is out of stock on Lego Shop at home. It seems out of stock everywhere else uh, on other retailers where you potentially could buy these in the UK. Um, but Lego Store still had some really good quality box. Really, really pleased to get a, a, a one of these. I do have one of these already. Um, that I got during lockdown, but I, I got a second one now, which is fabulous. So I'm really, really pleased. So that was the first bag. I'm going to rearrange the, 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 the boxes and we'll get on to the second bag in a second. So this is the first lot of stuff that I bought, all nicely stacked up now. Um, so as I walked away from the Lego store, I went back to my car, put them in my car, which is a short walk away, and I was having a wander around Southampton, and I sort of thought, um, oh, okay, well, I know that you, when you get your VIP points at the Lego store, they go onto your account straight away, which is always fantastic. And I knew I'd got a, f a few points on there, so um, I kind of had a look at my total and, and I was right and I'd actually gone over 8,000 points, which basically in the UK that means you can get a voucher for £50 off your next shop. So, uh, so that's what I did. I, uh, I sat down and uh, faffed around on my phone a bit and uh, did the, uh, got the voucher, the shop at home voucher, which is very easy to do. Um, and so went back to the Lego store and I was hoping they didn't recognize me there was quite a few staff on today uh, because I think it was quite busy and uh, luckily for me I just went oh, I had to queue actually about 10 minutes to get back in the store because they were only letting a certain amount of people in at one time 
Um, so eventually I got back in, went straight up to where I knew this particular set was. Um, but I'll show you the freebies again. I mean, it's literally the same lot of freebies. So there's the second Lego bag. So we have another pencil case. We have the other three poly bag. I got the friends one this time, so I've got one of each. So this is uh, set three zero four one two. Uh, quite a nice little set. I think the bike's probably the best thing in this. The bicycle. Uh, that's okay. So I thought I'd get one of each. Um, and also another one of the twelve in one sets. And another train. So um, yes, I was a little bit worried that they might recognise me, but luckily for me. Um, somebody else served me, um, so um, so yes, it was it was it was a guy that served me this time, and uh, uh, they didn't recognise, they weren't bothered anyway, so they just gave me anyway. So this is the set that I bought. I'm waffling on. There we go. It's a Lego idea set, and this is the tree house. And again, this particular set, um, which is set two one three one eight, is now out of stock on Lego Shop at Home. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere else. John Lewis was out. Hamleys weren't selling them either. So um, I actually got, got one of these from Hamleys. I ordered it online um, around about three or four weeks ago and the box at the back was, was crushed and damaged which I was really disappointed about. So um, again I had to sort through the boxes. The one at the front had a bit of damage to it so I, I picked the one behind that. Uh, so I'm really really pleased to get a box in a fabulous condition. Uh, and this is a great set, so if you don't have this already um, and it's not on Lego um, Shop at Home, it's £180, £179.99 in the UK, but obviously I got my £50 off that, so I actually paid £129.99 for this set, so really, really pleased to get that at that particular price. So here we have all the Lego items I bought from the Lego store in Southampton today on display. Um, I actually spent quite a bit of money today. I spent £165.97 on the first uh, first shop and then an hour later I spent another £129.99. Uh, I think it's money well spent though. Uh, the free gifts that you get and obviously the money off discounts um, I reckon are valued about 140 pounds so i had uh, the the free gifts of lego value them around about 90 95 pounds for for all of those i think it's about 47 pounds for each sort of each lot that i got for each bag so i've got two lots of those and then of course i got a 50 pounds off as well so quite a few savings discounts and freebies we always like that kind of stuff um so yeah i hope you like my haul um Obviously, uh, my favourite set is probably the biggest one, the Ideas Treehouse, but I think everything here is pretty good. The only thing that's a bit rubbish is the pencil case, but then, hey, it's not made out of Lego, so there you go. Um, anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, hopefully, I'll be uh, doing some more haul videos and maybe some reviews uh, at a later date. Uh, but for now, as always, thank you very much for watching.